so i've always wanted to make one of these like ERT vhs or i guess let's just say analog tv effects of my own and uh after effects i've always wanted to make one of these tutorials um for a while now but i haven't really found a good plugin that does analog very well that besides UD VHS and signal then i've always just wanted to kind of think outside the box with those two so i found one that i will be using in today's in today's tutorial it is called ntsc rs okay and with this plugin you can make a lot of really good um analog um tv emulations and also vhs effects um also um there is a standalone version that comes with the plugin um but you can also choose to get them separately i think actually the thing is you can download them se uh, separately actually you can download this the standalone app or you can get the plugin for after effects and premiere uh, so yeah, uh, this is what we're going to be using. So if you want to just download it, you go over here and just download and it'll, it'll, load. it'll show you which one should you download, the standalone or the OpenFX version or the After Effects Premiere version. That'll show you your system requirements and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now that we're back in our timeline, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is load the uh, plugin. So it's called NTSC-RS. Just make sure to dash. Um, so essentially, this is what it looks like. Um, let me take it off the solo part here. Yeah, so this is what it looks like by default. It looks very vibrant, very nicely, but there's a lot we can change and a lot that I will change. However, I am going to make this pretty concise, so I'm not going to like think with every effect or every config module, but I'm just going to give you the basic rundown of what I would usually use. So essentially, random seed, pretty obvious, randomizes and everything. So I'm going to put like negative 5,000, I guess. Uh, composite signal sharpening, that's like the, the sharpening of each color on the signal. So I'll bring this down to like negative four two or something. Uh, composite signal noise, so this is like the um, the noise, uh, the noise composite noise signal. So instead, like as you can see, it's like everything on the array. It also shows on your screen that how noisy it is from the colors from the compositing side. Like the basic signal noise is like considered the colors. So. As you can see, the um, if it goes all the way to 100, you can see red, red like RGB coloring on the noise, on the noise and the signal uh, intensity is like 100. Kind of a way to look at it. Um, so essentially, I I don't like to have this to a tenth, though I like to have this at like maybe 25 or 30 percent max uh, frequency. I'll choose put down like 0.2 and then like change the detail, maybe up like two or three because it makes it makes it look a little nice. Um, so in this case, I might bring it. Uh, I think I'll do like. Maybe like, maybe 40%. Right. Um, essentially, the snow, uh, it's like the snow is kind of like the, the streaks across the screen. I like to put this out only by two because I don't like when it, when it gets too intense. So, essentially, I'll even put the snow in the strip but it's like perspective. I'll put it down to like 10% maximum. So, yeah, it looks like that. I'll even put it down to like five. I have it. I have it. And it looks like that. And again, you can change. Be experimental with the snow. The snow is actually really cool once you get to know how to use it uh, in different scenarios. Um, so, essentially, this is the scanline sh base ship. This is like the first scanline. I don't really, I don't really have like having scanlines on my stuff, so it's not really any noticeable. And also, before we move on to the um, nitty gritties, let's go to the field stuff. The field stuff. Uh, I put this to both. Um, I like to cut the field of both. I like to keep the sharper Butterworth on with the low-pass filter type. Input lumen filter I like to put on bots. I like to keep this on full. And I don't change the ship offset of the bait scan lines. I only change this one here and there, depending on what I'm doing. So this one goes from zero to one line, to two line, and then notch, and then box. So I like to keep it on box. It just makes it feel a little bit more centered. So Luma smear. I like to make braces up high. I actually like it when it's more smeared so you don't see all the color like that. Um, you don't see all the colors, sharpened colors like that, and it's kind of a little overbearing. But obviously, putting this up here is going to be a little bit too overbearing, so I can put this like six, maybe, or six, three. That's okay. Uh, head switching, this is like for the bottom of your screen, as you notice down here, there's like a bunch of like head switches down here. Um, you can choose to choose to, op to make the offset zero or 22, whatever. Uh, the height is also cool too, but I don't like using the head switching, so I'm just gonna disable this. I'm just gonna show what it does. I mean, you see these doors on the ship, the ship's like 
according to your clip, so I'm not really going to use it though. Uh, same with tracking noise. I don't really use this one as much. I don't like really having the, the noise, uh, the tracking noise in my background. Not, not my background, but I don't like having the tracking noise on the bottom of the clip. It doesn't, it doesn't look nice to me. I'm just trying to get like an aesthetic emulation. I'm not trying to go for like a realistic broken signal, but I'm trying to go for like, you know, kind of like an aesthetic little um, um, emulation. So I don't really want to have the tracking noise enabled. So yeah. Um, but ringing is also really cool. Ringing is really cool. It, this is like the intensity of your lines on the on the emulation. So if I put this to like one percent, you can see the shift of the lines, and it's really cool. Kind of like a ringing effect, if you know if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, great. But if you don't really know, it's kind of like a bell. It's kind of like when a bell, um, kind of like when a when you get like this loud like bells in your ears and then you start your brain kind of gets shifted and you start seeing like lines everywhere sometimes so it's kind of like what the ringing is that's kind of like, yeah it's kind of like the ringing that's what the ringing kind of reminds me of so essentially i don't like to have this very high so i like put this like i'll put this like maybe two scale three power and like maybe 25 percent or something uh luminous is the luminous the luminous noise uh as you can see boom 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 <laughs> Um, I don't like having this very high either, so I'll do, I'll do something like that, like 60%, uh, lower the frequency, and I'll ch I'll even change the, put the detail up, so I'll put the detail up, you know, um, the frequency though, or like 2 in the boom noise, depending on what you want to do, I can put it on even like 45%. Uh, chroma noise is really cool too, it's like the, the chroma noise, chroma noise. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't like having this very intense either, so I like putting this like, wait, look to or, or, or increasing the frequency but then take, putting the intensity downwards and then putting the detail up i like having it very noticeable but as you can see it is it is there it's just i don't like having it very noticeable though. so something like that would be okay i think something like that's okay and then chroma phase air is really cool because you can change the, chrom the chromatic display of your colors uh, i like putting this all the way to 100 because i can go back downwards and i can go like 92 percent or even 90 and it looks really cool with the with the blue and green shift and um chroma phase noise that's for like your actual noise itself this looks really cool too and yeah i'm pretty sure if you go upwards you can actually make them more more desaturated which is really really nice touch so i like putting this to i like putting this to like i'll put the i'll, I'll keep it this i'll keep it but also yeah i'll just keep it default um, vhs emulation this is like the tape speed i don't really notice the difference with this one too much i'm still learning this this plugin as we speak so it's not like i know exactly what this all does but i think this is like the, the speed of your tape that, that, that you select so um chroma loss this is like the like you can actually make this desaturated like completely desaturated if you wanted to but in this case i'm not really gonna do that much i'm gonna do it like 60 percent um, the sharpening, um, I'm gonna put to like um, 0.73, but change the frequency down. Put the, put the frequency up or down, maybe. No. So yeah, change the put the intensity. Uh, it's like 0.14, and then I'll put, change it to the, the edge away. This kind of like the wave warpy effect that you see on some, on like some edits, like right over here. Yeah, the right over here you see like this like wave warpy effect. Side of your lines and your edges. This is kind of like what that is, so I'm not gonna make this too intense. Either. I'm gonna make this like uh, something like that and change the detail up. So, okay. um, your scale, this is like your overall scaling. I like to put this the, the horizontal scale higher and then the vertical scale lower. And then I don't turn this on because it makes everything too. Too scaled and I don't really like that. So this is pretty much what I would do. This is pretty much what I would do with my NTSCRS. I'm still learning, so please don't rely on my settings. This is just like point of reference. But if you need more, um, if you need more help, there is a GitHub um, thread full of um, probably for full of form too. But they also have presets available as well that I will leave in the description. And just to show you that uh, you can do a lot more with this, I actually have. Um, some effects I've used with my um, emulation. So if I go to my um, my my little um, thing called E here, I actually go in here, 
I actually have um, one that I made with some effects. So this is the NTS RS, NTS CRS. Uh, this is these are different logic. These are different little settings I use. I use like a higher seed. I use like a higher seed. Um, if I, I use um, lower uh, signal sharpening. I use more more noise. Um, I had some more mystery of the snow. I had his head switching on. Um, but essentially, this is kind of like what I. This is kind of like what you should do is like just to, just to practice and be more experimental with everything uh, this is kind of like what i got here um i don't know why it's on a white layer oh no because i don't have it on a white layer. yeah so this is what it looks like as is like so looks really cool um with the following effects it looks nicer um i added some um bcc mosaic um give it like a bcc mosaic effect like this is also pixels um, I gave it a little bit of uh, distort RGB on a soft light layer. Um, so you can go to like blending modes and soft light, or you can go like regular blending mode and soft light. Um, gives it like the edges some some, some distortion, and gives like the, the, the like the color some distortion. So like the facial the facial features have a little bit of distortion to them. Um, and then this one is the 80 pixel sorter. It makes the the blade on the side here, for example, looks really cool because it's like looks like the, the pixels are being like, like distorted in a way they suck. so and yeah and like i said there are presets available on their official github so if you want to go through all the presets and go through like probably the more goaded versions of this <laughs> um then uh, feel free to um but yeah this is the tutorial um i hope you guys enjoy it this is something i wanted to do for a while now and i hopefully this helped you and if it did feel free to give it a like or Excuse me but feel free to subscribe if you haven't already but essentially this is it this is kind of like what i wanted to do for i don't know months now um but again don't don't take my don't take my um settings feel free to experiment on your own and feel free to get um something that you like and that's all i would really want and if you need help there are presets available in the description and to the link that i that I give that have the, the zip file and everything. So it's really cool. I'm gonna test out all those um presets, see what I can use. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. Uh goodbye.